Adiós, amigos. Here we go again. I will shatter you. Follow my lead. Deal. Seriously, do you have brain damage? Hello, hello, this is Amigo Jeppe and welcome back! Today we are trying Evolve Shaman. I was very lucky in the pack to get Troll Deathseer and I was very curious about the Evolve archetype for Shaman. In uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne, Blizzard has given the Shaman some new interesting archetypes to work with, with the freeze mechanic, but it's still falling flat on the floor, but maybe in the new expansion the freeze shaman will shine, maybe, but until then we are going to try this new evolved shaman, because in a later post they've shown us that they have tried to make troll the death knight work with the freeze mechanic, but it didn't quite work, so they have changed Troll into Troll the Death Seer that evolves your minions into minions that cost two more. And on the ladder, we are seeing a lot of aggro evolve shamans that are quite powerful if you are getting the right amount of cards. Because with uh, the aggro version, you just need to fill up the board get lucky to get bloodlust or to get troll the death seer or your evolves and be a little bit lucky with your evolutions as they say you can get uh, bitter type hydra you can get all sorts of big minions at low cost and the mvp of the deck is of course doppelgangster on turn 6 with coin evolve or on turn 10 doppelgangster plus troll the death seer into free 8 8 minions now that's a powerful combo, but we are going to try a different type of deck. We are going to try a, a type of mixture between aggro and tempo. Of course we have some small minions, but we have also big minions like uh, the chieftain, the jade chieftain that uh, summons a jade with sound. We have Aya Blackpaw that summons us a lot of jade. And we have Master of Evolution. This is a very good card if you have one card, it can evolve just one card. But it can be also good with Troll Deathseer because you can evolve it into a 5 cost minion. We also have the Saturnite Chain Gang that's a very also good addition to the Evolve archetype. It spawns two minions with Taunt. The other card that the Evolved Shaman used to use, I mean used to play, sorry, was uh, Feral Spirits. But the problem with Feral Spir Spirits was that it overloaded by two. And with uh, the gang, the, the Serenite Chain Gang, it's a lot uh, easier to play this and also evolve on top of that or even troll Deaths here on turn 9. And Bloodlust is very good because we have a lot of minions and if we get big minions with big attack, with Bloodlust we can OTK our opponent for a lot of damage. We also have one Lightning Storm and two Maelstorm portals in case we are facing, let's just say, Token Druid or other Evolve Shamans. And also we get a little one mana minion that is also good for our Evolves. So here we are going to Jade Lightning, the 5-3, and I'm just gonna trade here and draw a card. Look, there's our magnificent troll, the Death Seer. So next turn, hmm, if he doesn't clear the board, we have a, we have a very good board for uh, evolving everything with troll, the Death Seer. Hmm, okay, he's going to ultimate infestation the tree the ancient uh, blossom and he's going to draw like crazy uh, ultimate infestation is a very powerful card indeed uh, but it's also very powerful in the druid class because druid has a lot of cards that can boost his mana up so he can play ultimate infestation very early 
a lot of people are asking for that card to be nerfed. Uh, one of the nerfs that I would suggest is Warriors, maybe gain 5 armor play. and choose summon a 5-5 minion or draw 5 cards. Because the druid has a lot of cards with choose one. And that is a mechanic identified with the class. And that's very good, in my opinion, of a nerf. You don't, uh, I don't know, uh, break the card. You don't make it unplayable. You still make it playable because you have to choose between a minion or drawing cards. Also, it helps you with, with the fact that kind of if you draw me. ultimate infestation as your last card in your deck, you can just choose the 5-5 and don't get fatigue. So deal 5 damage, gain 5 armor and gave a 5-5 minion sounds very good to me. And if you're drawing your ultimate infestation very early, you can choose the other one. Deal 5 damage, gain 5 armor, draw 5 cards. That's a very good nerf in my opinion. But please leave a comment down below if you have other suggestions on nerfing ultimate Go infestation. So here we are going to prepare the board with Aya the back paw, black paw, and maybe next turn if some of my minions survive, we could play the chain gang and thrall the death seer. So first is Jade Behemoth. Okay, so that's a 4-4. It's still Your not uh, very menacing of the Jade really to have uh, a lot of big minions on the board. But it's also not very good for me because I have used one of my lightning storms and we don't have another lightning storm. But we have two maelstrom portals and we definitely need maybe a spell power totem. But we have drawn the other doppelgangsters so we are going greedy here and we are going to play Troll the Death Seer. Look at that beautiful animation with one lightning changes ourselves into a death knight and the evolution of our minions is complete and we have an 8-8, eight, eight, a 5-5 five, five with wind fury and another 5-5 five, five, and a 6-6. Six, six. A very very good ev evolution in my eyes. So one swipe, so we are going to take 3 damage because of bitter tide hydra. So let's see what kind of trades does the druid do here, okay, innervate into what what are you going to innervate into mr druid oh no my fury and the pestilence my arch nemesis so he's going to summon two spiders with poison so that's not very good for us but we have two maelstrom portals but i wish we have one spell damage totem because i don't want to use two but we have Blood Mage Talnos top deck and we are going to Maelstrom portal those two itsy itsy spiders and just gonna go face summon our Saturnite chain gang and we are going to evolve that elemental into a 7-7 with charge gladly I will take that thank you very much and now why did I summon the chain gang you asked because we have one bloodlust and if we top deck that bloodlust we could have won if my opponent didn't ultimate infestation. This card is very good, it's very powerful. But with the nerf it's gonna cost one more mana so he cannot uh, do this kind of shenanigans. Ultimate infestation into nourish. So you're gonna be very sad when ultimate infestation will cost 6 mana. It's still not a very powerful nerf, but it's still a nerf nonetheless. And 1 mana can change a card. So let's see. First, the second maelstorm portal here. Into, okay, uh, a little gnome with leopard gnome. I think that's a leopard gnome. And that's gonna deal 2 damage if he dies to my opponent. Okay, okay, so let's see how can we trade here. Free we me. need to attack with the two chain gangs into one uh, scarab. Me. And I think I'm gonna go and equip my J claws. And we are going to summon a 4 4 J. That's very good for us. Second, we are going to kill another scarab. 
with uh, also though, my uh, jade claws. We're going to kill mostly all of the scarabs. I think I'm going to evolve one of my chain gangs into 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. It could have been better, but it's still good. We have healed the 4-4. Four, four. Also, Troll Deathseer, his hero power is very powerful if you manage to keep your minions alive until your turn that you can use your hero power. Because it also heals your, uh, your minion to full health. And that's very good. Acidic Swamp Boost. Interesting. Battle Cry, Summon a 5-5, Jade Golem. Well, it's still not very menacing for us yet, because the Jade is still very slow for him. So here we're gonna summon another satellite chain gang. Genu Water Speaker, heal myself up and evolve after we this attack, of mine. course. We are we are not going to play uh, we are not going to do another misplay here. And now let's evolve our minions. Okay, this is a very good evolve for us. We got King Mosh, we got uh, a giant that eats weapons, we got White Eyes, we have Servant of Calamos, and we have the Knight. Okay, now he's gonna go ham with the Jades. So he has a 7 7 Jade. So he's gonna kill my White Eyes. And with that, we are going to get a 5 mana 10 10, the Storm Guardian. And what are you going to do now with one mana? Jade Idol into shuffling free jades into your deck. Okay, we still have 11 cards. That's very good for us. So, is he going to trade for the Knight or the Servant of Yoxoran? Okay, he's trading for the Servant. That's good for us. So, we top decked the uh, thing from below. So, that's gonna, going to protect us from the 7-7. First, we need to kill that Jade Behemoth and the six, 6 I think I'm going to first kill the 6-6. Six, six. Second, we are going to attack with the 4-4 four, four face. Now we are going to transform King Marsh into Deathwing the Dragon Lord. Nice, nice. I could have healed, but I think I'm going to be a little bit greedy. And we got the Mop Lurker. Mope Lurker. Well, that's not a very good Evolve. With Evolve, it's I'm also a cars. lot about the RNG. Well, 12-12 uh, is good for me, but I would have preferred that I could have gotten a little bit of a better 6-6. Six, six. But it's still good for me. It's still good. A 7-7, seven, seven, an 8-8, eight, eight, and a 9-9. Nine, nine. It's still not enough to, to make me concede, my friend. I have a 12-12, a 6-6, and a 4 and a 3 minion on the board. And I also have Jade Claws in my hand. Even if you armor up, it's still useless. I still have the advantage with Jade Claws in hand. And he concedes. GG my friend, G. Okay, our next opponent is a Shaman. Oh, and this Shaman has Prince Malchazar in it. A lot of new players that start to play Hearthstone and has the Karazhan expansion always play Prince uh, Malkazar because Prince Malkazar gives you 5 random legendaries and there are legendaries. You don't know what you get. You could get very good legendaries or very bad legendaries but they are still legendaries. So let's see what type of deck does this shaman play. So he's just gonna go face. So this is a face shaman, I think. Okay, another J. Interesting. So here, I think we're gonna go with hmm, coin into blood mage Talnos and Maelstrom portal into a two-one air elemental with uh, cannot be targeted by spells or hero power. I think that Blizzard in the future will make a new uh, keyword for that mechanic. Oh, he also played Maelstrom Portal. Okay, so now I think we're gonna go and hmm, go and play a Hot Spring Guardian and heal ourselves a little bit up, back to 26 health. So this is a very interesting Shaman deck that he's he's playing. I think he's also an Evolve Shaman deck. I think. 
he maybe surprised me with something new but I highly doubt it so let's see lightning storm okay okay now you're talking okay so high roll not so I think he's gonna go and trade with uh, his jade claws <clears throat> sorry just had something in my throat and now he's going to face okay so we're gonna go and play our next Heart Spring Guardian and just tote him up. Because next turn we could play Aya Black Paw, or even better, we could tote him up and play one thing from below. Oh, interesting. Uh, Flame Thumb Totem. Okay, so that he's going to trade everything, but the problem for him is I have Lightning Storm in my hand. And that's very problematic for him. So here we're gonna go in Lightning Storm, and I think I have a very good idea, maybe on on what to do next. Turn. But with the Overload, I think I'm just gonna tote them up because next turn we are just going to have five mana, so we cannot play my combo of two things from below oh, and evolve. Oh, he's playing Prince Malkazar. Nice, very nice indeed. Oh, and a Town Totem, even better. So let's see, hmm. we're gonna play one thing from below and I think I'm gonna go and uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna go and risk it with evolve or we are just going to play uh, we are just going to play our hero power here and our healing totem will heal our minions but our minions are not damaged at all but next turn we are going to be at uh, hmm. 8 mana, so we could play Troll, Deathseer and the other thing from below or maybe we are going to play Jason or Aya Blackhawk so let's see, if we can top deck maybe a Maelstorm portal that could be very nice but he's playing a lot of minions, uh oh he's playing Evolve also so that's a very bad Evolve I think so here we could play Doppelganger and the thing from below and get better minions. Six cost minions even. So, oh, oh damn. Oh, that was a misplay. I accidentally uh, skipped my turn. I forgot that at uh, six mana there is one charge minion. But that's how you learn Hearthstone the hard way. Echoing spirits. Interesting. So now he's going to get those minions back. And he could prepare another evolve in the future. Because he will have cards. Well, well played. played. That's a very good card. So Jade Lightning. Okay. So he's going to kill my mm, Triceratops. An abominable bowman. He's going to resummon a beast. But in, at my knowledge, I think that I don't have a beast that died this game. Oh, he's going face. Interesting. So let's see what we can do here. Bone Mare will give him another uh, dragon in hand, but we have to risk it and maybe he's not getting something good. Or maybe we are going to... Hmm. No. We, we definitely need to kill that Bone Mare. How should we do it? Should I let Bone Manor live or not? No, we are not going to let that dragon live. I know there is a probability that he could give him Deathwing. But we, s we have Hex in our decks. In our deck, sorry, decks. In our deck. Because I made two deck uh, Shaman decks today. And uh, both of my decks have two hexes so that's why I said decks hmm because the other deck is about freeze shaman because I, I was very lucky to also get Morambi in in one of my packs and in uh, next episode we are going to try to build a free shaman deck it's still very difficult because I cannot see what kind of deck is the free shaman oh a book war interesting so he's going to kill that and my Argent Crusader, interesting. Hmm. We could go with Jade Lightning and Troll the Death Seer, or hmm, I think I'm gonna go with with that. That's very good, very good uh, play for me. 
First we need to kill that acidic swamp ooze. And now we are just going to go face. And we are going to use Troll the Deathseer and begin the Master of Evolution. Come on Troll Deathseer, what kind of minions have you prepared for me today? Is it going to be... Oh my god. No. No. One, I accept. Two, never. Well, at, at least we got a boar clear, but two mere noggin foggers. Seriously. Well, this is gonna be a very random situation here. I yes, you. I will shatter you. Why I would you wonder. give me two mere nog noggin foggers? You could have got given me, I don't know, uh, Isera, Malagos. What is also at 9 mana? Nosdormu, the dragons, something. Well, th this is gonna be random. Or maybe not. Wait, we're gonna go again. So, he's not going to attack the first Mayor Nogginfogger. He's going to attack the second one. The golden one, even. Well, he's going to attack the other Nogginfogger. So, Nogginfogger in into Nogginfogger into Nogginfogger. Well, here, this is no-brainer. We are going to play Aya Blackpaw. We are going to play Evolve here first. Because... Or we are going to... Wait, no. We are going to play Jade Lightning. No, I think we're gonna go and Evolve here. No, let's just risk it with Jade Lightning. Well, let's see. Well, we... That was... Uh, well, we killed one of our Mayor Noggin Fathers. Well, that's good for us. Well, at least we're going to kill the bat. And that's going to clear the board. And we only have one uh, Noggin Fogger in our deck. That's very good. Uh, in our, on our board. Sorry, too too much Mayor, mayor Noggin Foggers here today. And this is just a very bad evolution for us. So at least we are going face. That's good for us. I could have used Evolve. But I still have another doppelganger in my deck. I was thinking about using Evolve, but that is just too slow. And maybe he has one Bloodlust, or maybe even two, if I dare to say it that. But this is good for us. The Mayor Nogginfoggers mm -hmm. did a very good job. And with the floating bat, that was very good. So he got a Deathwing, but not the kind of Deathwing he wanted. So here we are going to evolve the Mare Nogginfoggin first. Cause we want to use Bloodlust. Okay, so even evolve is random, but we were lucky to target Mare Nogginfogger again. And now this is GG. Well, this was a very Nogginfogger situation. And our last match for today is gonna be against the Warrior. Is it going to be a pirate warrior, a dead man's hand warrior? But no, this is a fire plum's heart warrior or a taunt warrior for sure. So let's see, I haven't seen a taunt warrior or a quest warrior in a long time and this is gonna be very interesting. Okay, stolen goods. This is a great start for me. So we are just going to coin out Manatite Totem because these cards are just very good. And we need more delicious new cards. And we definitely lower the cost of our thing from below. That's also very good for us. And next turn we could go with... Hmm, well, he played Public Defender and I know a guy. And he doesn't have a Victory Axe, as they say. So I think we're gonna go and Hex. And we're gonna be a little bit greedy and draw one more card. Hmm. Yep, we are going to play Hex. And we are going to draw one more card. Maybe we could draw Doppelgangster. But no, we've drawn Aya Blackpaw. She's just a very flexible card in uh, Jade Druid, in Jade Rogue, and Jade Shaman. Even in Aggro Shamans. Uh, Token Druid, I think it's not playing Aya Blackpaw because it's very slow. But here we're going to play Blood Mage Talnos into Maelstrom Portal. We are getting the little piggy and we are going to deal one damage to our opponent. And we are very lucky to get Devolve. So what was I saying? Oh yes, uh, Aya Blackpaw. 
is just a very good and versatile card, but it's not very good in Token Druid, because Token Druids tend to use a lot of small minions, so they can buff them up into very strong minions. But she could be used in a Token Druid deck, but not a very fast and aggro-ish Token Druid deck. Maybe a tempo style Token Druid deck, maybe. So here we are going to hmm, Totem Up, and our thing from below is good for Evolve next turn. And here I think we're just going to go with face and kill the Stone Tusk Boar, sadly, because Blood Mage Talnos is more valuable than Stone Tusk Boar. And we are going to evolve here. And we got two Knife Jugglers and a Ravaging Ghoul. Well, that's good for us because we have a Saturnite Chain Gang, so we can get four throws from the Jugglers. Or just one Juggler because our opponent is scared of the Juggler. And I don't want to give him a 5 mana 6 9 in the deck, so I think we're gonna hex that. Yes, that's better. And I think we're gonna go and play one totem, or uh, one of my hero powers. And we are just going to go face. Okay, he needs 3 more towns, and the quest is complete. And then he can go to town with. Sulfurous and Die Insect, his new hero power that deals 8 damage to a random enemy. So he's uh, playing another 3 6, but I think, I think I'm gonna devolve that because I don't want to give him that 5, uh, that 6 9 minion in his deck. That's not very good, and I don't have the tools to kill it. I could also play Jade Chieftain here. But Evolve looks more promising. Okay, a 4-5 is good because we can kill it with the Jade Claws and the Ravaging Ghoul. Hmm, first Totem up. Okay, we got a Taunt. That's good. Let's play Thing from below and maybe I, I won't have to use my weapon. Sadly, uh, the Knife Juggler didn't hit that. So I think I'm gonna go and attack with... Face. Well, and the juggler. Why did I why did I do that? Because the juggler is good, but I need the ghoul. Because maybe next turn I want to play Troll the Death Seer, and the ghoul will transform into a five cost minion. And the juggler only transforms into a four cost minion. And we also got the double gangsters. Nice. We could play that on turn ten. And here, hmm, 8 mana, so what can we play here? We could play Aya Black Paw, but first let's go face. And play Aya Black Paw, and just hero power into healing. A healing totem, perfect, perfect, this is very good for us. <clears throat> so let's see, he's at 11, he's at 11, sorry. Hmm, 3 cards, Senjin Shield Master into hired gun okay so he has completed the quest and now sulfurus is ready to go nobody, and the public nobody. defender interesting so is he gonna go and attack the town definitely but we have troll the death seer and top deck lightning storm so if we get Spell damage, this is gonna be very fun. Okay, we got spell damage and go! And, okay, that's a very good roll for us. First, we're going to attack the Sengi Shield Masta. I'm gonna go face. And we are going to summon the Saturnite Chain Gang. Nice, nice indeed. So, if he doesn't have Brawl, this is our victory. But he still has Sulfurus in hand, but it's not very good. Because armor is better than deal 8 damage to a random enemy. So let's see. He's going to play Fiery Winax. Okay, and Sulfurus on top. Nice, so now he's changing his hero power. And he, and he didn't use the hero well power. Played. Well, well played my friend. But the victory is mine. GG. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment and a like. And if you want to see more or help the channel grow, you can subscribe to Amigo Japan. 
Until then, don't forget to have fun and I will see you in the next one. See ya!